A DIVING ACCIDENT AT CHURCH CAMP LEFT HIM PARALYZED. HE WAS ONLY 17 YEARS OLD. WELL, NOW HE'S WORKING TO MAKE AN EXTREME IMPACT FOR HIMSELF AND OTHERS THROUGH PRO GAMING. COIN LOCAL 6 REPORTER AMY FRAZIER SHOWS US HOW. 21-YEAR-OLD JACOB WALKER GEARS UP FOR SOME INTENSE ACTION. A little right -click. It's like, uh. HE'S DETERMINED TO BE ON TOP. IF YOU DON'T HAVE YOUR MIND CLEAR, YOU'RE DEFINITELY GOING TO MESS UP. IN A DISTANT PART OF THE MILKY WAY GALAXY. YOU'RE GOING TO GIVE ME ORDERS? WHO WANTS SOME? Starcraft 2, a military science fiction real time strategy video game, is so difficult. Other gamers wish they had more fingers. Jacob, though, can't feel his fingers or most of his body. I was instantly paralyzed, and I pretty much knew it, but um, I, I heard a loud ping sound. Jacob was playing in a lake at church camp four years ago when he dove forward and hit sand. You were baptized in the same lake just hours before this accident. Yeah, I mean, I totally broke my neck the day I was baptized. So, very, uh, very real, very um, life changing. Face down in the water, he couldn't move, he couldn't flip himself over, he couldn't hold his breath any longer. And I said, Thank you, God, for loving me, and I inhaled and um, blacked out. The next thing Jacob knew, someone had pulled him to shore. Jacob survived and learned he was paralyzed from the collarbone down. I actually ended up getting a tattoo on my hand saying, let go, and you can check it out. Um, pretty much saying, let go of anger, let go of hate, let go of jealousy, and let go of the things you really can't control. It's tiring. We were there with Jacob four years ago. Come on, fight it up. Oh. As he worked to gain back some strength. And then there was his other therapy. It was therapy in disguise, and it was therapy I needed. Trying to build, um, get my guys out as fast as I can. Gaming distracted him from the pain and gave him a reason to move. It forced me to move my arm, and doing that back and forth all day and holding your arm up. You know, you have no choice but to get stronger. I got them from my therapist. Customizing his own equipment. The headphones, I guess. I'm going to click it with my wrist. Jacob has gotten good, and he even streams his play online. He's on a competitive gaming team called BBV under the name Spectral. There's not a lot of extreme competition for someone who's disabled. So Jacob is trying to change that. Pro gaming is huge in Korea. There are even TV shows based around it. The Korea Disabled Esports Federation has invited Jacob to attend the International Esports Meets of the Disabled. I'm going to go to Korea representing the United States. We're going to promote gaming as a, a therapeutic form, as a competition too. He can hardly wait for the four-day trip in November. And I'm nervous and I'm excited. And I think I'm going to do good. I'm confident. I mean, I, I beat all the disabled people I've played um, in StarCraft, but I don't, I don't know what Korea has to hold. As he challenges himself, Jacob hopes to inspire others. I mean, I want to show a lot of other disabled people that they can maybe try and go play some StarCraft or play some video games or go try to do something that they haven't necessarily tried. This better be good. I'm trying to get into the action as fast as I can. They're attacking us. Reporting for you in Beaverton. That's the end of that. Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6. Well, you can watch streaming video of Jacob playing StarCraft 2. Uh, Amy has posted that link on her Facebook page, so just search Amy Frazier Coin and click like.